So a few news shows ago, I talked about the Theremin IO app, and I just decided to download it, and um, I have it all set up, ready to go. And I decided to give it a test run to see how it works with controlling MIDI on Tractor. So there's a little bit of a process to set it up, but it's not too difficult, and I'll show you how afterwards. But just to show you how we got it working, I can turn the app on. It uses the light at the back um, with the camera. And I've got it set up to the rate in the gator here. And you can see as I, as I move my hand up and down, the rate of the gator changes. So it sounds a bit like this. So that's what you can do with it. Obviously you can control a number of different effects or different parameters using this. Um, so you, there's a lot of options. Maybe you can use it for flux mode or something like that. Um, but uh, let's have a look and show you how it sets up because there is nothing on the Theremin website to tell you how to do it. So uh, let's have a look at that. Okay, so to set this up on the Mac, I can help you out. PC users, I don't know exactly how to set this up, so I apologize about that ahead of time. You might be able to figure it out if you have some kind of similar MIDI setup network inside a PC, um, but this is how you'd set it up on a Mac. So you open up, you can go into um, the Spotlight, and all you need to do is find um, MIDI, and you open it up, and it'll bring you to one of these um, windows. Um, you might find that it has uh, the audio window in, instead, but just move it and put the uh, MIDI window to say show MIDI window. And then this, something similar to this will show up. Click on the network button and you'll get a window like this. And then in this window you'll need to hit the plus sign which will start a new session, check the box that says session one, and then select the item that you want it to use as MIDI and you should be able to see your phone um, set up there. And once that is selected hit connect and uh, it'll take a little while to connect and then it'll all say it right here. It'll say which participant and the session is enabled and then you're good to go. Then I went into Tractor go into the uh, Tractor preferences and into controller manager you need to click add and then add generic MIDI. And then Tractor will pick up the fact that you've just started a session in the MIDI and it'll be whatever you've named it. So session one, I just left it as the default. So you hit session one and that's what it'll pick up. Then you can add any control. So I used knob three on effects unit one, um, but you have a look at whatever you wanna do and the way you do that is just add in effects unit and any of these. Um, I haven't tested it with anything else, but I'm pretty sure you could probably use it with flux mode. Um, and, uh, you know, you've got different options. You can use it for the dry wet if you want to do it that way. But depending on what effect you want to use it for, depends on what you want to set it up to. But I just did it at this effects knob 3 just to test it. I hit the learn button. And then in the app, um, you have the MIDI section. Um, it's the button on the far right of the app and it takes you into this settings page and then uh, if you try to add some MIDI um, It might not enable which means you need to buy the MIDI upgrade, which is $5.99 You go to the uh, MIDI upgrade page and upgrade that type in your password And then once that's active you should be able to go into the MIDI section and Enable it by sliding the slider to the right hand side make sure it's set to control change And then I just picked any CC number I picked the one two six because I was hoping that it was not going to interfere with anything else uh, But you can probably pick whatever you want if you don't have any other MIDI uh, Messages getting sent 
So, um, yep, I selected uh, CC126, left it as control change, and then we turned it on and want to make sure the sound is down, and then uh, you're good to go. And then when it's in learn, you'll see that it'll pick up the message here. So if I change this to anything else, it'll instantly change back. Let me just change it for you here. So if I change it to 0030, as soon as I hit learn, so long as the theremin app is on, it will pick up straight away. It's already receiving the MIDI message. Then what I did is I just changed the rotary sensitivity and the acceleration a little bit because uh, it depends on how far away from the camera and uh, you just wanna have a little play with that to make sure the settings are right. And then once that was set up, you can just test it out with, with that knob and uh, all works well. So it just depends on how where you set the rotary, uh, but you can see now I'm just using the, that. And with the gate, with that control knob three, it seems to stop zero at the center there. And I can't get it to go any further lower than that. Um, so, you know, if you figure something else out, I can't get it to go less than one eighth. And one eighth seems to be the furthest distance away it'll go. Um, but as I bring my hand closer, it goes up to one thirty second. So there you go. That's how you set it up. iPhone, Mac with the Theremin IO app. Well, the Theremin IO app costs two ninety nine, but then the MIDI upgrade is five ninety nine. So for just under ten bucks, um, you're not doing too bad if you just want to have a little play with that. It's pretty cool. So hope you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, head over to the Theremin app on the uh, on the App Store there.